Welcome back. We are turning you now to this morning's business report. Fourth of July celebration hosts won't have to worry about inflation raining on their parade this year. And canceling a digital subscription is hard, but that could be changing. Jane hmm. King is live with the NASDAQ with, NASDAQ with those stories and more. Good morning, Jane. Happy Friday. Good morning. Happy Friday to you. Yes, online sellers making it easier to cancel a subscription. The Wall Street Journal reports some streaming video providers like Netflix and Paramount Plus and other online subscription services are giving easier access to the cancel button. Now, Apple organizes all user subscriptions in its settings menu. Those are services offered directly from the company as well as those served from, uh, sold from third-party apps. And each listing comes with renewal information and a cancel button. Well, Amazon announced it will hold its Prime Day, so that annual two-day sale on July 11th and 12th this year. So now other retailers are offering sales during those days to compete. Walmart will hold sales July 10th through the 13th, and Target is offering deals July 9th through the 15th. And with inflation easing, consumers can widely shop for 4th of July supplies without worrying about the price. However, Pattern says beverages are the one celebration staple that has seen a marked price increase year over year. Uh, soft drinks are up nine to 11 percent beer though is steady compared to last year well the nasdaq and s p 500 rose yesterday snapping a three-day losing streak investors coming back in buying some of those big tech stocks but we're set up for a lower week and uh in fact the dow pointing down about 100 points this morning live from the nasdaq market site i'm jane king back to you